Hey, babes, I'm back. Um, it looks like we've got dodgy Wi-Fi here. So best of luck listening to the rest of this. So uh, I, I'm having an early morning with all musing, and I thought I'd share it with you about doing it alone. And um, I was just sharing you, with you the story about coming out of practice. Um, I'm up here on the Gold Coast, just in case you missed it, uh, running the retreat for the Natchpreneur Club, the final one for the year. And um, coming out of uh, college was an amazing, beautiful journey. And coming out the end of it, um, you felt like you were around a tribe of, of people who had gone through the same kind of slug. But then um, spat out the end, I had to go back to um, uh, my pseudo hometown, Newcastle, and I had to start practice by myself. And um, at first, it's really daunting. There's lots of people, you know, I, I, I went into a, um, a health food shop and even though there was people around, they, weren't, they hadn't gone through the same journey as me. And then I went into uh, another clinic and somebody who had way more experience than me and had a different way of practicing, um, it, was a really, it was a really challenging time and I didn't... I wasn't connected to the people that I'd gone through college with. And then uh, I came out and uh, started practicing alone in uh, my own practice. And when you're doing that, it's a really interesting space because how do you know how well you're doing? How do you know what's right for your business? How do you know what's right with the way that you are, um, the way that you're doing business? Because we just don't get that sounding board or that feedback the same way as we did in college. So um, after I finished, um, uh, after I had completed that kind of cycle of um, being in that space all by myself, I decided I would make a multimodality practice. The beauty of having a multimodality practice was there's lots of other practitioners and I didn't have to do it alone anymore. And we created an amazing um, vibe and um, there's that, that quote, um, follow your vibe to get to your tribe, um, or your vibe is your tribe. It's so true. Uh, we got to create some magic moments. You know, every Christmas we would do something awesome. So uh, the Paralympics came to uh, Newcastle and um, we went and went to the opening ceremony as our Christmas event. Uh, we went and did Christmas in the park one year. We went to um, the local kind of live music place, Les Ots, and and had a night out there, um, a as well as creating the tribe within our practice. You know, we were able to get feedback on cases. We were able to, um, you know, in some of my darkest times, like when uh, when the woman... Uh, made that complaint about me to the ACCC, uh, unsubstantiated, and you know she'd left out some really key information about what she was taking. But in that in that moment, I felt like a complete and utter failure, and that I should give up. And if I was doing that by myself back at my other clinic, uh, I probably would have, I probably would have given up. Um, but the beauty of having a tribe around of people that are very like-minded to you, um, especially having them available every day. You know, in a multimodality practice, you're able to see different people in, well, from my perspective, we were able to see one another every day. So I wasn't doing it alone anymore. And in that dark, dark, dark moment, I was able to get the feedback and the, and the reassurance that I needed at that time. And then the cheerleading to go through the process of the legal stuff and all that kind of thing. And then the same thing happened to um, the Cairo that we, that we had in the practice. She um, was looked at by, uh, by APRA for a website and all that kind of stuff. And if she, she says exactly the same thing. If she had to do it alone, she might have given it away. So on a professional level, where is your tribe? And love your tribe really hard and show up for your tribe. So if I didn't show up every day being that sounding board, being open to communicating with, um, with our other prackies, I wouldn't have got the same kind of family vibe, tribe kind of feel from it. And in here, if you're in here, uh, in the hub, and you love the vibe here, 
contribute, ask questions, be open, be vulnerable and, and show up. Um, because this is a wonderful, safe space for you to do that. And um, I've created it because that was seriously missing for me in those first couple of years. And uh, in those really disheartening moments, it's really easy to um, attach to the fear and attach to the scarcity and the, the lack, you know, and to not, to, to not have that sounding board that's cheering you on, that's your, that's your wolf pack, ooh, that has, that's going through the same stuff, um, is a spectacularly lonely thing and we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, there wasn't a group like this when I uh, came out. There wasn't a group when I came out into practice. It just, it, it just didn't exist, you know? And being able to be in a group of um, like-minded women who are going through similar stuff. And the other thing is, hey, Nick, <laughs> my fellow she-wolf, um, being around like-minded women, um, okay, so we're predominantly women. I see you boys, don't worry. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderfully reassuring thing. We've, we've been um, in, for want of a better term, a sisterhood for a long, long time and uh, we've been yearning for that connection again and again. And after you finish college, that connection might not be there, but we're lucky to have a space like this to show up in. So uh, my invitation to you is professionally, if you don't have your tribe or you feel like you're on the outer, come in here and actually use the space because you don't have to do it alone. You can come in here and write, you know, write whatever's on your mind, write a little comment. If you're in those challenging moments like I've had in the past, use it as a place for a sounding board. If you are here and you just want to be part of the tribe and want to support people, cool support everybody in here and then the other thing is um, if you have a practice out out in the real world that has a multimodality feel um, something that I'm listening to with the mentees that we've got in the club is that when they do have a multimodality practice is that there is some things around communicating and connecting with other practitioners that we need to practice just the same as we practice uh, being able to create treatment plans and other things there's a practice in communicating and, um, and being together as a tribe that really starts to need, to need to happen in real life as well. Lastly, if you have a tribe of people that follow you, even if you've only seen one client, that person is the beginning of your tribe. That person is, um, it needs love and care and a relationship built with them. So if you are just um, starting out and you have you know have, you've got these um, these couple of clients love them care about them create an event where they can all come together and um, ha and hang out and we're back uh, if you are uh, overrun with clients and it you're finding it hard to connect with everybody and you're forgetting people's names and things like that again create an event or a workshop or um, an opportunity for them to all hang out together and feel that vibe um, of your tribe and what you're all about. So um, Nick, yes, it's such an amazing feeling knowing that someone has your back, totally, especially in those scary moments um, and in the exciting moments like today in the celebration of uh, the club coming to coming to uh, its, its close this time around because the new one's opening next week. Um, it is very, very exciting to be in, um, in the space of being around, surrounded by people that can celebrate with you at the same time. So when you get your first client, it's like, woohoo! When you get your first $10,000 week, it's like, yes, oh my God. Um, if you get your t first $10,000 month, oh my goodness. Uh, you know, when you um, uh, help somebody fall pregnant for the first time, you get to do it and you don't have to do it alone. So if you, um, if you don't have a tribe, utilize this space as a tribe. And if you are starting to hear some things about the club, um, more information will come out about that next week because you could join us uh, next year on our retreats. Woo!
<laughs> it's a bit sunny. Um, you can join us on our retreats next year if you would like to join the club and celebrate with us at the end of the year, oh, middle of the year. It's a six month program. So um, yeah, my invitation to you is this week, how could you love your tribe more? How could you create more of a tribe effect? And how could you contribute in here if you're enjoying this space as a tribe? Um, we love your presence in here. Uh, if you haven't already, because Daisy turned up yesterday doing her live, so we got to see her, and, um, and I would love to see any of you guys show up in a way that, um, that yeah, gets us to, to know you, because we, we do want to know everybody in here. And if you can utilize this space, I invite you to. All right, have an amazing day, everybody, and uh, I will catch you in the next vid. Okay, bye.